the council we're a burden mm. to the owners here we're just money that's all we are okay. to the outside world we don't exist no, just another statistic you know i don't know what on earth the people who put families and children and vulnerable women in industrial set i don't know what they were thinking <laughs> from here is actually a wasteland so we've got one near Benetton and we've got one somewhere in here Across and the, the stench oh my gosh you can just... taste it it's not even a smell it's, it's a smell yeah. that you eventually taste now I'm scared of using the washing machine because of the rush that everyone in this building is coming up in yeah last week you know when the fire alarm was going off it didn't go off by itself so I'm had to push it I called the fire brigade gave them the postcode that we've got on our fire notices mm -hmm. They said nothing is coming up in my system, nothing. I took them out in the double pram the other day and I had to walk in the road. Right, yeah. I bought some lights to put on my push chair for when I'd have to walk, you know, during yeah. the night. The lorries don't expect mothers and no. children. Half of out. these people don't even know this is here. £216 a week for this. That, that is just It's just a joke. And you've got to pay everything on top of you. Electric, water, uh, council tax, TV licence. And I just think, how can they get away with that? How can they get away with so much, you know? We all know they've breached some sort of conduct here. It's not a case of a, just a tenancy. This is people's lives and their mental health at risk here. I mean, I don't feel myself, and I know a lot of people don't uh, that, that don't feel themselves either. And a health visitor actually said to me that I'm on the verge of some mental breakdown. Pretty much, yeah, some sort of postnatal depression, and yeah. I know it's down to here because whenever I'm not in here, I'm happy. And as soon as I it drive is, in that it car park, it is a mental park, prison. I think it definitely as is. As soon as I drive in that car park, my heart breaks for my children. It breaks for mm. myself. I just I feel like I've let my children down. I understand. And so many times I just break down and I think, no, Harley's not going to see me cry and I'm not going to cry now because I also feel like I've run out of tears. I've actually run out of tears and when you don't cry, that's a bit worrying. It does make you feel lost in all aspects of your life. Nobody in their right minds thinks this is a nice place to live and no and the thing is the people that own this place they wouldn't want to live here but they want to live with their toilet next to their bed and you know their sink next to the plugs i can guarantee they wouldn't put their children here so why are we allowed to live here i don't know it's just horrible it really is i have anger towards the councils and everything else but you can't really put your full frustration on them because they are doing their job. Yeah, and you know? there's nowhere else to go. And the only people above them that are giving them these budgets and these legislations that they can pass is the government. I actually, I mean, I've I just lost hope. I don't, I don't see me moving, that's the truth, no. I don't. I feel like I'm going to see my children growing up here. Mm. That's know, something I... Playing in a car yeah. park, running up and down a corridor. And this is our future generation mm. having to like live through this as well, you know. Thank you.